It was just so crazy that these two billionaires were fighting to give me money to help kickstart my business. I've just always wanted a skateboard that I could throw in my backpack, take it to school, and then when I get out of school, go down to the skate park. Normal skateboards could cost like $200. I don't got that money. So I just decided to make one. Surfing, skating, basically anything with a board. I just love to do it. Surfing is just really expensive. Sorry, you guys can go ahead and paddle out. And my parents were kind of like, I'm over this. You have to pay for this. We gave him a list of chores on how he could earn money. He came back to us and said, you know, everyone likes my locker board. Can I try selling it at school? And that's how the whole thing started. So make your kids do chores. Good things happen. <laughs> About six months after I created Locker Board, Shark Tank called and asked me to apply for the show. He loved the idea, but he said my company was too small for Shark Tank and then said, keep in touch. And when he found out about Lockerboard, he said I was ready for Shark Tank. The lights were like, Ooh. It's dark everywhere else except you and where the sharks are. It's almost like a battle. I chose Richard Branson. He told me that I reminded him of himself when he first started his business. He's invested, he's also mentored me, he's taught me how to delegate. He's helped me get manufacturers to make my skateboards. He's just all in all like the best mentor you can have. This isn't something Carson just did on his own. I mean, he's created the idea himself, but so many people have stepped in to help him to get to where he's at. Hey, Carson, how's it going? Important people. So now I'm working with Nike. We talk like once a week. We're collaborating on some new ideas. I want to make street tubes sustainable like I've done with Lockerboard. He talks to his mentors about how to find balance. We figured out how like I can be the face of our company, kind of like you are the face of yours. So we do want him to be a kid, but he also loves his company and being an entrepreneur. <laughs> I just love being creative. I'm not that kid who can sit at a desk all day. And it goes down. And I'm like very fidgety. I'm just different, you know? I'm investing it back in my company and I donate $1 for every locker board sold to Ocean Unite. I'm an ocean activist. He's trying to get back to his community with the hashtag Save Sano movement that he's working on with his friends. And he loves going out and speaking and inspiring other people. He likes making money. He loves that entrepreneurial part, but he also wants to give back. That's the thing my husband and I are most proud of. I've learned to seize the moment Never give up and believe in yourself. Every kid should learn how to skateboard. It really teaches you the lesson to never give up because it can take like hours to land a new trick. When you finally nail it, it's like the best feeling in the world.